our sin. Jesus is our Savior. We go back and get our Bible memory verse, and then we'll find a classroom to go and um, read our, jo our gospel story Bible, okay? Oh, you need a name tag first. All right. Oh, and parents, don't forget to check the church website or your email for the discussion guide I sent you. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay. Here's our Bible memory verse for today. Practice it with me. Okay, our memory verse this week is John chapter 3, verse 16. You guys might know this one already. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Okay, now let's head on back and find a classroom so we can read our story. All right. How about we go to first grade with Miss Pam again this week? Are you ready? Let's go. Oh, hi, we're the first graders. Hi. We're, our story today is about that Jesus cleanses the temple. And uh, it comes from uh, a book in the New Testament, John 2. And so let's be good listeners. And then we, we've got a couple questions at the end, so you guys need to be able to answer those. After the wedding feast, where he turned water into wine, wine it was almost time for Passover, so Jesus and his disciples traveled to Jerusalem. 
soon they were at the temple it was full of people buying and selling as if they were in a market so some were even selling animals to be used as sacrifices like pigeons sheep and cattle others set up tables to exchange Roman money for temple money right in the temple courts when Jesus saw this he was not happy in fact he made a whip out of cords and chased those people out of the temple and I've got my whip over here so Jesus he he chased the people out of the temple with the whip Jesus dumped out the boxes of coins and turned over the tables of money changers just like this <laughs> So he threw these people out of the temple because he was angry because they're supposed to use the temple as a place of worship. But he didn't tell, he didn't let the animals go. Instead, he told the people who sold them, take these things away. Do not make my father's house a marketplace. It's supposed to be a place of worship. So anyway, as the disciples watched, they remembered Psalm 69 where David talked about his strong desire to care for God's house. It was the same with Jesus. He wanted to care for God's house also. The religious leaders were upset by what Jesus did. So they asked Jesus to give them a sign to prove he had the right to chase the people away. Jesus didn't give them a sign. Instead, he simply said, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. John 2.19 When the Jews heard this, they were astonished. What was Jesus talking about? It had taken over 46 years to build the temple. The leaders mocked Jesus for saying he could raise it up in three days. But that was because they didn't understand what he meant. Jesus wasn't talking about the temple building, Josh. He wasn't talking about the building. He was talking about the temple being his body, the place where God was really living. Jesus didn't give them the sign they asked for, but soon after, during Passover, Jesus performed other signs and many believed in him. A few years later, when Jesus was arrested, some people tried to get Jesus into trouble by using his words against him. They told the high priest, we heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands and in three days I will build another not made with hands. That's from Mark 14, 58. And when Jesus was on the cross, some people would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days. Oh, they, and they made fun of him and what he had said. It wasn't until Jesus rose from the dead that the disciples remembered his words and finally understood that they had pointed, this had pointed to his death and resurrection all along. Did he break the table? Uh, well, he, had, he pushed the table over because he didn't want people using the church, the temple, as a marketplace. Now I got a couple questions, so let's see if you were listening. What is Jesus doing in this picture? He's cleaning the, he's cleaning the temple. That's right, yep. Yeah. Why did he do this? Because so he... For, for, the, for the people that don't 
That's one way to answer it, but what the reason he did it is because he wanted the people to use the church or the temple as a place of worship, not for a marketplace for selling things. One more question, let's see if you can answer it. When Jesus said he could rebuild the temple in three days, what was he really talking about? Go ahead, Autumn. Dying on the cross and rosing again from the great day. Yes, he was talking about his own body, that he was going to die on the cross and then he was going to be resurrected. So that's the end of our story and questions today. Thank you for joining us. Bye! Bye. Hey kids, don't forget to have mom and dad send a picture of you growing, growing in God's, God's Word. Word.